Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Yeah, Rod Hardman here. Uh, as you see, I'm cleaning off my shotgun. Um, <clears throat> getting ready. I'm going to go do some hunting here, possibly this weekend. But uh, anyway, that's all beyond a point. Let's um, <clears throat> Let's talk about some key issues here. This Ebola again. I know we this Ebola thing has been um, eating everybody up. But let's face it, um, we got a lot of problems here. Now, a lot of people ask why can't they shut down the airlines? Why can't they stop traveling overseas? Well, there's a good answer to that question. You all follow the stock markets on what's going on with the airlines right now with people being in fear of the Ebola. The stocks are starting to plummet, they're starting to go down because a lot of people are in fear of traveling on the airlines. Don't blame them. This is why they will not shut the airlines down. This is why they will encourage flying even more so and this is why they're allowing international flights in and out of the country. Um, because the big investors don't want to lose any of the derivatives from their stocks that they have invested in these airlines. Are they afraid right now? Absolutely. Like I said, <clears throat> you have, if you watch the stock markets right now, you see right now they have dropped a thousand points and possibly even more today. And they will continue to do so. Have you watched gasoline prices? Gasoline prices are starting to plummet too. Uh, what's the reason for all this? Like I said, if fewer airlines are using flights, uh, you know, that's a lot less fuel being burned by the airline industry. So they can't make any jet fuel, really, or they're not going to make a whole lot of jet fuel for jets so that means less people are flying so uh, anyway be watching all this stocks tell you a whole lot of a whole lot of what's going on um, also another thing that needs to be brought into uh, play here um, you heard about the second nurse that was diagnosed with Ebola she apparently was around a bunch of children and these children are now quarantined and the schools that they have attended have been shut down because of her having Ebola and these children possibly can be coming in contact with it and and now possibly being contagious let's see only time can tell but uh, yeah <clears throat> that's why uh, you know they don't want to shut down the airlines this is why they encourage people not to panic use public transportation um, as far as buses as far as taxi cabs as far as the metro service and as far as uh, the airline services go you know they're encouraging this because of the simple fact they don't want to admit that this is a airborne virus all right but anyway <clears throat> you know people can call it a hoax they can call it whatever they want but this is real life people are getting sick people are going to die this woman had a 99.5 degree temperature she called the CDC informed them that she has a low-grade fever but they still cleared her to go on that airlines now she actually interchanged airlines so how many other people were exposed to her before she got on the last flight to wherever she was going all right so that being said you know you gotta use common sense here people the gowns are not protecting these people the masks are not protecting these people. You cannot be protected from a virus. Let me point out something to you. 
common cold. We all know the common cold is a virus. It's it's one of those things people get when you get a cold, when you come in contact with something. When you sneeze, when you cough, like I said, I've pointed this out many times, and you're in an environment around other people, and you blow into a tissue, what happens? People become exposed to this cold. This is the same thing with the with Ebola. Ebola is a virus. You touch something, all right, your virus is on there. They don't know how long this virus will last on an object when you touch it. They don't. They're testing this. They're trying to figure out the theory of how long this lasts. They don't have a clue. I even talked to a uh, healthcare worker uh, when I was in the supermarket today. And he even said the same thing. They're testing this. He works for Med for MedStar, and uh, which is in Washington. Um, and he works for these people. And he said they've been testing this theory for a while now, and they just don't know. So, <clears throat> and we and we talked about the idea of saliva, mucus, sweat. And he agreed with me on all these things. Um, when you sneeze in an enclosed environment, you spread the Ebola virus. You spread any virus. When you cough, you spread any virus. When you sweat from a fever, you spread any virus. All right? So, no matter what precautions you take, rubber gloves, mask. Uh, contamination suit, whatever. Uh, what ends up happening? Where did that fly come from? Um, whatever. Whenever you come in contact with somebody, this virus is not going to go away. People are going to die from it. Simple fact. Or they're going to get very ill from it. Even though there's only been one case reported of death. But this is all you're hearing right now. Let's see what happens within the months to come. All right, please leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Um, always, you know, rate a video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, this helps the videos get around. All right, and please spread the information with your friends. Remember, three things are going to be affected from this Ebola. It's going to be the fast food industry. It's going to be restaurants. It's going to be grocery stores and other convenience stores. Okay. Uh, because you never know who you're going to come in contact with in any of these places. Okay? Till next time, be safe out there, people. Remember to wash your hands all the time and wash your face as well. All right? Be safe out there. Looking forward to seeing you again here shortly on YouTube.